Hello! And welcome back. Welcome back. Last episode we left off with, what was it, the killer tubas or something? Uh, bwah. Bwah. That's exactly what tubas sound like. Yep. So, we will go ahead and... La. Wow. It's going to stick right into the microphone. Hello. <laughs> We have like a $20 microphone, so I'm not expecting it to really pick me up well, because I am a quieter folk. I am. She's very quiet, is what she was saying. The microphone is closer to her than it is to me right now. I think they can hear Not you. that I have a problem with that. Yuck! <laughs> I really hope that joke was intentional. Maybe. I don't remember what I've already talked about in the past episode, so if I repeat, like, my stupid jokes, just, just, just uh, uh, like, comment, and subscribe. <laughs> Thumb us while you're at it. <laughs> <laughs> this one, this, like, level is obsessed with mouths. Like, I fun. really don't like it. I, this is one of my least favorite ones in levels, to be completely honest. Yeah, I can kind of see why. It's just like... Zoe's got her own separate playthrough that she's not uploading to the channel. But I'm watching her play it, and she's doing a lot better than I did my first time, because she likes to watch people play games before she tries to put her hand at them herself. Well, I just like watch... Like, it's how I figure out if I think I like the game. Like, that's how I ended up with a whole lot of games that I don't like. Stardew Valley, and... Um, what else? I don't... Dead Rising 2. Like, I watch other people play them before I actually get them. Oh! Back! I like the little mustaches they have. Um, they're bending around and blowing into their own mouthpiece. Is that the equivalent of sucking themselves off? Definitely. Definitely, definitely. Definitely, definitely. They're definitely sucking themselves off. I did not want to hear that, but okay. Hey, you're the one who brought it up. Ah. That was a good one. That was good. Also, I apologize if I sound groggy. I've been fighting this weird thing going on with my chest and my, in my throat. So. Which I just got over my own uh, throat stuff. So. Man, I didn't get all the parries. Eh, that's, a, that's an A. That's an A. A for effort. Man, I totally No bombed. regrets. Man, I totally bombed that test. I only got an A. We all know that one person. I remember somebody who is um, relatively TV famous now, and uh, I had a conversation with her once during a show that we were in and together in high school, and I was talking to her about, like, grades or something, and she told me, she was like, well, at least you've got the easy end. If I come home with a B, my parents stare at me and they're like, you are in so much trouble. That's my kind of family. That's my family. Like, um, my brother, is, who's in college, um, is panicking because he was afraid he was going to get a B- in uh, some sort of kind of Spanish class. And I just literally had to, like, take him by the shoulders and be like, this doesn't matter. Welcome. All right. So liberating to finally purchase these two items. Bye. Bye. Goodbye. Boing. 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 I wonder how big he is in relation to Cuphead and Mugman. Well, if Cuphead and Mugman, if we established in another episode, are like three inches tall, then I would assume he's like a centimeter. <laughs> So tiny. You little, you little tiny, you little tiny, tiny, tiny hourglass. Is it bad that I expected the shop to explode? Well, because, <laughs> you, because you beat it. <laughs> no, because it was like... Oh, Baroness. Ah. Uh, I actually S-ranked her the other day, so maybe this won't be as bad? It's a lot of luck, because like you <coughs> never know what... Uh, form she's gonna have, like what? Um, it's not the matter of form that she has, because Baroness herself only uh, no, fights you once. I mean her minions. And her minions, she has five different minions, which I hate almost all of them. The gumball one, I don't mind. Oh my god, and we start with the worst one right off the bat. Just kill me now. I like the cupcake guy if I have the uh, smoke bomb. Most 
of them are pretty. You like this entire game if you have the smoke bomb. Yeah. Because, like, the smoke bomb eradicates a large portion of the challenge. See, I'm in the boat that I don't like. Uh, I think we're getting one extra help is fine, but getting the two extras is kind of cheating. So I'm okay with the smoke bomb. See, I'm okay with the two extra health. But for me, it's the opposite. I, the two extra health is fine because it's like you need that. This, to me personally, the smoke bomb is cheating. Yeah, I think the having five health is cheating. But you know, die. I'm not gonna say anyone didn't deserve a win because they used a smoke bomb or they used extra hearts. This game's hard. And however uh, you get through it is however you get through it. Did you notice that she was like permanently stuck on you just hit me mode? Because like you know, whenever you hit them, they turn they flash white for half melt for half of the frame. Yeah. She was perpetually stuck on that before the house started moving. Ah! Well, I saw that. Coming. That I did not foresee. So. And also, forget Cuphead taking off his head, Baroness taking off her head. That only confirms to me that she is part ice cream. Gumball Man's not too hard. I like to call him Tom Sawyer. I like that. There's a lot of, there's like a really good fan artist. I don't know who it was. Um, but she, or he, I, I have no idea. They had like fan art of Baroness Von 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 made of like different kinds of candy and sweets and stuff. And there was like modern candy or candy that's actually in the game? Oh no, like stuff like um tiramisu or Ah, so it's like so it's like international candy. Kind of. I mean it's just like different colors and He was dying! He shouldn't be allowed to hit me if he's dying! Oh, Pac-Man Gobstop. I wonder if it's hard for him to um sleep because every time he has to close his mouth to close his eyes. Dead, dead Gobstopper, you gonna go away soon? Never. That's my uh, nickname for that move. Yeah, the game likes to say it's energy beam, but I just like to call it. It's about right. I think Arthur does that too. Oh boy. I S ranked her the other day. Why can I suddenly not do it? It's all chance. It's not all chance. I mean, like, Gumball, to... Gumball Dude didn't hit me just then, so... I mean, some of it's strategy. You have to know how to fight each minion, but, like, if you get the easier minions and you're more like the ones that you're better at or the ones that you have a good strategy at, you're more likely to win. Oh my god, that was so close. It was fucking jelly beans. It's not, it wasn't the jelly beans. It was the fact that I was, like, I was trying to avoid getting hit by him. But I landed on the platform at the precise moment, so I did not get hit. Waffle Man's not that hard, he just float, just floats around a lot. I like him. I really like breakfast, so I just like any like, waffle. I, I like pancakes better than waffles, <coughs> but... I mean, I do too, but... The other thing is, like, I, I get, like, if he was coated in syrup, maybe I could accept it a little more, but why is a waffle in a candy... They're all like sweet. They're all sweet. They're all like waffles can be sweet. But I mean, you're not gonna call waffle a sweet like it's breakfast. Like candies, peppermints, um, cupcakes. Those, those are Got it. desserts. And I did it without getting hit. Okay. Fall through the platform because I told it to that time. I have a big old uh, stress bottle sitting right next to me just for this exact reason. I've got a squishy thing, because I get stressed out even though I'm not playing the game. Yeah. It's stressful to watch, it's even more stressful to play. It's really fun because we'll um, play Cuphead and we'll like connect the HDMI to the TV so like I can watch, and my mom likes to come and watch sometimes because she loves the art style. And um, she literally gasps every time someone gets hit. It's it's pretty hilarious. That's how intense this game is, and like how crazy the fan base has gotten. And I'm just like, I love like I love this game. I will I will never ever get tired of this game. I want sequels to Cuphead. They're working on it. They're planning on it. 
I want more and more sequels to Cuphead. So if they're gonna go with Don't Deal with the Devil, then what are they gonna do with the next one? Don't, uh... It's gonna be like... Jiggy with the jellyfish or something? Yes. <laughs> you wear the jellyfish cuts. Okay. I'm gonna show y'all how I deal with Grim Matchstick. Because he's really not that hard, guys. He is literally not that hard. Q2. You. And I'm the fact that I just said that yeah. means I'm gonna die over and over and over. Yeah. But this is how I deal with Grim Matchstick. And for the record, I don't think Grim is the hardest boss in the game. He's an honorable mention for me, but I don't think he's the hardest boss in the game. Oh no. That distinction. Used to be Calamaria, but now I think it's Dr. Call's robot. So. Yeah, I think once you figure out Calamaria, it's not all that bad. Yeah, I I was able to flawlessly S rank Calamaria the first time I tried it, so. <sighs> Game slowed down. Oh, the frame rate's doing okay. The frame rate was doing okay for the first few seconds. I parried that. The lobber can be really useful. I really like the lava. I think I figured out what exactly is wrong with the frame rate. Yeah. Everything is weird. Oh yeah, so it's harder to like, keep up. I get that. Yeah. It's only slowing it down slightly, but not too badly. Anyway. Yeah, but no, the lobber is the weapon that you want to use for this one, because no matter where you're standing, you just... Eh. Like, and I know I said that the roundabout and the spread are my two choice weapons, but I tried the roundabout with Grim, and it serviced me fine until I got to the last phase. The last phase... Ooh, boy. The last phase, just because you can accidentally hit the things... Oh, yeah, the bubble, the fire bubble. Yeah, that's why I say, in this swarm, literally spread to the charge shot. Uh, switch to the charge shot, you can avoid them... You can avoid them more easily, and you won't have to worry about accidentally hitting them. It's like, you know, the balloons in uh, that one circus theme rocket gun? Like, if you hit them, they shoot out a bunch of beans, or whatever the hell they are. I'm gonna right. say they're bullets. So it's easier not to shoot, but this you gotta shoot, so you have you to gotta be precise. keep firing. You gotta be more precise. Just try to trample you around. Whoa! Uh, land on the cloud in time. Alright, how far? Oh! God damn. I rest my case. Now watch me get roughed up all over again. Yay. Flap. Flap. I love the castle in the back. That's an actual model they did. This game's art is a real passion project, and it definitely shows. Um, speaking of another game with a really interesting art Style. The bad oh boy. You know, my dad introduced that game to me when I was like, I don't know, like, prior to my double digits, and he always likes to joke that he lost the Father of the Year award for showing it to me. But the whole thing is, it's a game by The Residents, the underground group called The Residents. And the whole premise is that it takes place on an abandoned carnival where you can switch between different characters and you have to access certain parts of the game and try to unravel the story. It's it's very not for kids. Yes. It's got if, you, a lot of if you're familiar with the residents, you know that a lot of their stuff is not suitable for youngsters. They're very edgy. They're uh the, the art stuff. There's like a some sort of a uh, All right, so, all right. <laughs> Okay, uh, I got really distracted at that time, so... Alright, I'll try to keep the commentary a little quieter. No, it's... I'm just gonna stay with you guys. We're gonna, we're gonna have a good time. Right. So, like, yeah, there's, like, this whole ride. It's, like, Torture's Top Ten, and it's, like, these... This artist interpretations of different types of torture. And it's super interesting. Because it's mixed media, and I'm a huge art nerd. Like, major art nerd. I mean, I can't name Renaissance work shit, but I really like art of most forms. And it's just really cool to see it, especially incorporated into a video game that's actually for adults, and it's a very niche piece. I highly suggest checking it out. It's got music. Not very good music, but it's music. Not great voice acting, but it's pretty cool. And 
really interesting technology for the time, especially. Of course, I never played it, but because my parents actually looked at what I played, so I was over here playing Spy Fox and Jam Sam. I'm sad that Spy Fox doesn't get enough credit. Putt Putt and um, Jam Sam, everyone remembers, but Spy Fox was a goddamn good game. focusing. He's got the tongue out and everything. Like, it's like basically, it's the equivalent of Ash turning his hat backwards in Pokemon. I used to do that. Um, I used to take voice lessons because I like singing. And whenever it, when I was doing a really tough song, I would take that or put it backwards because that shit's serious. So... Grim had off to Ruby's heads the entire time. I have many questions. So close. We're getting there. So close. Oh, fuck! One more go and you wanna call it? Let's go with it. Alright, let's go one more time. I love the uh, watercolor-ish looking... Um, well, it's not watercolor. It's, it's, it's gotta be a type of paint. It doesn't look pencil. Well, it could be. Who knows? Of the background. While I love art, I'm really bad at all of it. I never, I've never taken classes. I, I, I don't know how to identify what's what, really. But I can appreciate it, and I really, I think the sky's really pretty good in this one. Especially when it gets to the rain effect, and it really, it really captures the 1930s look. It's really pretty. Which so as for, um, going back to it, as for, um, what other topics the Mixed Cuphead games can do, I mean, it's, it's gotta be, you know, common 1930s, which, I assume they're gonna shy away from the sexist themes of 1930s cartoons, but you can, they can do a lot of other things. Like, this one is a message about not gambling. There's drinking. There's, uh... I don't think they're gonna cover lust. I don't know how a cup head, like, guy with a cup for a head would work that. I'm not sure I want to know what the straw's for. Anyway. Um... I mean, they could just go through the seven deadly sins. Got it! Well, <laughs> Okay, Thank that's where I'm going to leave stuff. Thank God I don't have to talk on my own anymore. <laughs> that's where, uh, did I say I? I meant we. Because we are a team. Because we are a team. We're together. We're together. We're all in this. Mm. No, none of that filth. Do you want to get sued? Uh, no, it's okay as long as it's not a Let's see. Eh, I don't care. We that's how you know. defeat Grim Matchstick. Anyway, that's it for this episode of Cuphead. We will thank you very humbly. Thumb us to like and subscribe and all the other fun shit you go do to YouTube stuff. Go back to our other episodes if you haven't seen it. There's a lot of random talking and how to, uh, little tips on how to defeat each boss. And we'll see you in the next video. Bye! Bye!